Hello guys and welcome to the second most important video in this season as I'll be going through the top 10 guns in season 2 of Battle Royale. It's been a while since I made one of these so bear with me as I have to go through some important points before we start. First of all this list represents my personal opinion based on some tests that I made and also from my own experience from playing the game this season. Second of all this list includes ground loot guns only that you can see on the screen right now. So the purpose of it is to help you decide which gun to use in the early game until you get your hands on your favorite loadout gun from the airdrop. Also the damage test is done against an enemy with a level 3 vest and 150 HP with all shots directed to the chest area. And regarding the range it will be at 10 meters range but I also decided to test mid range too and to be exact at 50 meters range to help you make a better decision. You should also know that it's extremely hard for me to give you accurate results because of the weird way this game works on battle royale. But I did my best to find a good balance and it should be accurate enough. Finally the gameplay you see in the background is not related to the guns. I could be talking about the AK117 but the gameplay is for the AK47. It's just random to keep you guys entertained during the video because last time I made best guns video most viewers were confused I'm just too lazy to record clips for each gun and it would take more time to release the video okay that's all I have to say so keep that in mind and let's get started In number 10 we have the BK57 with a fire rate of 678 rounds per minute and 11 damage this gun can kill an enemy at 50 meters range within this time. And at 10 meters range it deals a total of 15 damage killing enemies within this time. This killing time combined with a good accuracy at both close and mid range makes it a good option but not the best. Also keep in mind that this gun starts with low recoil but it will start increasing as you keep shooting. In number 9 we have one of the newest additions to the game, the AS Val. With a fire rate of 826 rounds per minute and a maximum damage of 12 at 50 meters range this gun can kill within this time. And at 10 meters range the Val deals a total of 17 damage killing enemies within this time. This gun has an insane killing time because it kills faster than most SMGs at close range including the QQ9 and the RAS and at mid range it outguns most assault rifles including the AK47 which is kind of crazy to think of. But the reason why I placed it in rank 9 is the ridiculous amount of recoil which will cause you to miss half of your shots at mid range. However it can be a great option for close range fights just remember to use it as an SMG. In number 8 we have the RAS 79U with a fire rate of 792 rounds per minute and a maximum damage of 9 at 50 meters range this gun can kill within this time. And at 10 meters range it deals 14 damage killing enemies within this time. So this gun proves to be a solid choice for yet another season and even though it has higher killing time compared to the Val, in return you get much higher accuracy and also higher mobility. And of course the recoil is a lot easier to control. I highly recommend using the purple version of this gun. In number 7 we have the type 25 with a fire rate of 813 rounds per minute and a maximum damage of 9 at 50 meters range it can kill within this time. And at 10 meters range the damage goes up to 14 killing enemies within this time. This gun was one of the most affected guns with the buffs that came in with season 2 and you can feel the huge difference in the recoil control and the accuracy of the type 25 as it became a lot easier to hit your shots. However the damage is still not there. At close range there are a lot of SMGs that can beat this gun. Even the AK117 has almost the same killing time. And at mid range the damage falls significantly and it can be outgunned by most assault rifles. So in my opinion the Type 25 and the RAS 79U are kind of similar. Pick them if you want a gun that has a bit of both close range damage and mid range damage while having decent accuracy and recoil control.
Moving on to number 6, we have the QQ9 with a fire rate of 783 rounds per minute and a damage of 9 at 50 meters range, this gun can kill within this time. The damage goes up to 15 at 10 meters range, killing enemies within this time. This gun not only received one buff but it also received a second buff in the same month. The fast killing time combined with the insane hip fire accuracy makes it one of the best guns if not the best at close range because you will end up hitting most of your shots. I highly recommend the purple version of this gun. It's a beast, just make sure you use it within 15 meters range only. Next, we have the M4 LMG at number 5, with a fire rate of 638 rounds per minute and a maximum damage of 12 at 50 meters range, this gun can kill within this time. And at 10 meters range, the damage becomes 18, which is crazy high, and with that damage, you will be able to kill enemies within this time, which is faster than many SMGs. This gun has been good for few seasons, but many players didn't realize that, but this season, it's just broken. With the fast killing time and the high hipfire accuracy, this gun shreds, and on top of that, you get a high match that can wipe a full squad. The biggest disadvantage and the reason why many players are not using it, first of all, the slow ADS time, and second of all, the slow movement speed. However, if you get your hands on the legendary version of this gun, make sure to always pick it up. The build on that version is ridiculously OP and it has much faster ADS and recoil control to the point where you don't even need your loadout gun anymore. In number 4 we have the M4 with a fire rate of 704 rounds per minute and a maximum damage of 11 at 50 meters range the M4 can kill within this time. And at 10 meters range the damage goes up to 14 which can kill within this time. Notice that the damage of this gun is average at both ranges, not the best and not the worst. But the main reason why I put it in rank 4 is the accuracy and the recoil control of this gun. Like it already had good stats from past seasons, but this season, this gun is literally a laser. The only issue is that it's extremely hard to find because there is only a legendary version of it. We arrived to the top 3 guns starting with the BY-15. Sadly I can't provide you with damage stats because the bullet spread of the shotguns is random. But I can tell you that this gun can kill anyone with 1 to 2 shots only at close range especially if you use ADS. Honestly both the BY-15 and the KRM are great options but in the end I went with the BY-15 mainly for the faster fire rate and also the higher accuracy. In the end it's up to you guys try both of them and make a decision. Moving on to number 2, we have the AK-117 with a fire rate of 791 rounds per minute and a maximum damage of 10 at 50 meters range, it can kill within this time. And the damage goes up to 14 at 10 meters range which will allow you to kill enemies within this time. Just like the Type 25, the AK-117 was highly affected by the buff and the recoil control became much easier at mid-range. Also, thanks to the fast fire rate and the high hip fire accuracy, the AK-117 is considered one of the best at close range fights. Not to mention the insane fast ADS that comes with it. Just make sure you use the blue version of this gun and try to avoid using the grey version whenever possible. Because it has low mag and high recoil. In number 1, again we have the AK-47, honestly I lost count on how many seasons this gun managed to remain as the best. With a fire rate of 558 rounds per minute and a maximum damage of 14 at 50 meters, this gun can kill within this time. And at 10 meters range the damage goes up to 18, killing enemies within this time. So in close range it has the same killing time as the M4 which is average but that's not where this gun shines. Thanks to the high range of the AK-47 it deals high damage at mid range but the biggest difference comes at longer ranges as it still packs some heavy damage compared to other assault rifles. I hope you guys found this useful and if you did a like would be highly appreciated and if you want to be extra generous then consider sharing it with your friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.
Take my 